welcome back friends uh, yesterday we were discussing about that uh, topic uh, the reading test questions and those were about an australian artist named margaret preston right uh, she was a painter and uh, she created many artworks throughout her entire career and uh, now let's look at those questions so let's look at the uh, question number 1 it is a true false not given question so let's read the question it is artists in the german aesthetic tradition portrayed nature realistically right now uh, you have to be careful if the statement it agrees with the information if there is the same kind of information in there in the passage then it is true if it doesn't but if it contradicts the exact opposite thing is there in the passage then it is false but there is no mention of that thing then it will be not given so here artists in the german aesthetic tradition portrayed nature realistically right so let's find out the word german aesthetic tradition and it is here in this line the third paragraph her early artwork was influenced by german aesthetic tradition in which i mean in this german aesthetic tradition subjects of the natural world were depicted in a true to life manner right they were depicted they were portrayed the same words right and true to life means realistically right so this is true then there is the next question margaret attended a famous art college in paris let's find out the word paris right so it is in the next paragraph right that margaret's first visit to europe in 1904 and her studies in paris france had little impact on this naturalism that dominated her work from this early period some 8 years later after returning to paris she began to recognize the decorative possibilities of art so they talk about whatever her studies were there in paris and what impact it had on her artworks but there is no mention of any school right she studied okay but at what school right whether it was a famous or not that is another thing but there is no mention of any college in this passage so it should be not given margaret met her husband william while teaching a craft at a rehabilitation unit she met her husband william right you need to find out where exactly the word this uh, the name this william is there and it is in the next paragraph right it is this line uh in england's west country she taught basket weaving at a rehabilitation unit for servicemen okay in england's west county right there she was teaching basket weaving this was but after that there is this line it was on board a boat right it was on board a boat which was returning to australia that she met when the businessman william preston whom she married in 1990 so the exact opposite information is here the information the statement is like she met her husband at a rehabilitation unit but here the information says in the passage that she met her, uh, her husband on a boat that means this is false next question margaret and uh, thea proctor explored similar themes in their art so let's find out where the word thea proctor is there so in, it is in the next passage her first major showing in australia was with her friend thea proctor in exhibitions in melbourne and sydney in 1925 then there is mention of uh, what were the colors of margaret prints right uh, but there is no mention of any similarity or anything about thea proctor uh, 
uh, and Margaret's work. So it is like there is no information given over here. So it should be not given. Then next one. Margaret's 1925 artworks of Sydney Harbour were simpler than her previous ones. Right? So 1925 artworks of Sydney Harbour. Right? She moved to Sydney. And then these artworks of Sydney Harbour were simpler than her previous ones. Again, you have to look at the paragraph, which is this, that uh, Melbourne and Sydney 1925, hard, uh, many of Preston's prints were hard color, hand colored in rich scarlet reds, blues and green. And all of them were set in Chinese red liquor frames. Next line, harbour views were again prominent. But in comparison with her earlier artworks, right, before 1925, whatever she created, this is the comparison between the uh, this 1925 works. They were compact and busy. They were compact and busy. Compact means uh, more images are compressed, are put together in a single picture, right? And they were busy means harbor harbor is, a, is an area where ships and boats are parked right they are uh, near the shore and there are more ships in these new works but here let's come back to the question margaret's 1925 artworks of sydney harbor were simpler than her previous one so comparison is there but whether they were simple or whether they were complex we don't know right so it can be not given this is my opinion this is my opinion i also would say that uh, it should be false this was my opinion right i uh, would say that it should be false because they were not simpler they were compact and they were busy but again sometimes uh, I must confess that whatever views that I have this uh, examiner or the person who sets this question papers they have some different views and we always we always need to modify our views according to the examiner if that guy says the question who sets the question paper and uh, he says that this is false then we need to change our views and we need to realize that it should be false and we need to think the way that examiner or the question paper setter uh, the way he thinks right so here they have given not given so again let's uh, think that it is like this that this 1925 artworks they were compact and busy, but no mention whether they were simpler or complex one. Anyway, the colors in Margaret's Barora prints were very bright. Let's uh, look at this part. Uh, it is in the next paragraph. 19, from 1932 to 1939, she moved from uh, Sydney and lived in Barora. Right? And the colors it is this line the third last uh, Preston's prints became larger less complex and less reliant on the use of bright colors means now whatever she painted she didn't need bright colors they were re less reliant on bright colors right and here in the question in the statement it says that they were very bright. The exact opposite thing is there that she needed less bright colors, right? So this is false because the exact opposite information is there. When living in Barora, Margaret painted flowers in their natural location. Right? When she was in Barora, Margaret painted flowers in their natural location. Right? So and the next line, last line, flowers were no longer arranged in vases, right? Artificially arranged flowers are not there, but 
Western began to concentrate instead on flowers that were growing wild, that were growing in their natural uh, state, in their natural habitat, right? In the wild. So it is true, right? She was when she was in Barovra, flowers were in their natural location, right? Now these are the fill in the blank question. Again, now you know that you need to look at the headings. First of all, always, always remember that you need to read the line, read the instruction that it says that you should choose one word and or a number means either one word or a number or one word and a number from the message. That's it. Right? So whatever you write, it should be of one word. Interest in Aboriginal art was inspired by seeking rock engravings close to her Barora home. Incorporated dash and colors from Aboriginal art in her own work. Right? She incorporated, she mixed, she used together. So this is uh, here we uh, are talking about the main heading is aboriginal influence how she was influenced by uh, this aboriginal artworks so this is it during the 1940s symbols that were used by aboriginal people and together with colors right dried burnt colors right she used them together so incorporate to include what symbols and colors so answer should be symbols her often work often referred uh, referred to aboriginal sources in the dash she gave her artworks she acknowledged right referred to means acknowledged right sources in the dash she gave her artworks so it is like this that the artist's titles right title we give to our artworks so uh, let's read this line the artist's title titles from this period frequently acknowledge her sources right this is right she is referring to her sources same line often referred to uh, aboriginal sources in what in the titles that she gave her artworks so in the titles right the answer should be titles right? whatever titles she gave to her artworks they always referred to they always acknowledged what source she used or what source that inspired her right then let's come to this part 1953 exhibition Again, very old method of dash was used for some prints. Method. Method. There is a synonym for it. And it is stenciling. Right? Mm, it's in the next paragraph. Let's look at here. Hmm. The line. The exhibition. Uh, at Macquarie Galleries in Sydney included 29 prints made using the ancient, right, old, ancient means old, technique, method, which was known as stenciling, right. If you uh, are interested in this technique, you should Google it, right. It's a very interesting method. It has nothing to do with your uh, uh, reading test or this passage, but still, if you google it uh, you will find something interesting to right anyway let's come back to this next question uh, she was inspired by dash about the chinese art that she had started collecting in 1915 right in this part preston had admired uh, chinese art since 1950 when she acquired acquire means collect right the first of her many books on the subject, on the Chinese art, right? What she acquired, what she collected, many books. 
so answer should be books right now let's talk about her old age still interested in right? when she became old right uh, the last part uh, last paragraph preston did not let age alter her habit of working hard as she got got older her love of what painting right she is still interested in painting and art right so 12 number answer should be painting she worked for nearly 6 decades right 6 decades for 60 years she worked and making more than how many uh in the second last line she produced over 400 paintings so there should be this number what 400 right 400 400 400 artworks uh, dedicated to uh, australian art and original to work is seen questions now career okay so this was it friends uh, tomorrow or in our next discussion we will talk about some other topic right the original idea that i prefer is that you should read your passage first you should try to understand read it as if it's a story once you read that once you understand everything then it is easier for you uh, to solve anything rather than just starting with the questions and uh, finding out the synonyms or keywords i prefer this method and this way you will enjoy it right as i say you should uh, google uh, things that you don't know and that way you uh, will find something that is interesting to know right this is a preparation i know but this is not like uh, your school or college exam you should read as much as possible you should listen to the podcasts everything that you find interesting if you like to listen to stories yes you should you must listen to stories right so this was it uh, we will meet in our next discussion session right goodbye and take care